what's going on guys lockout man back again with another one and we just gonna keep pumping them out all the time because that's what lockout men do lockout men is for the new jets the new drivers the new people that's coming into the industry that may want content to get them through their day that's me right there what's going on everybody welcome back to the lockout men podcast show i am here in wintersville ohio right here at the walmart knocking out all these good videos for you because i don't have nothing but time but time especially here at the walmart walmart gives you plenty of time time wasted time full time busted time whatever time that you can imagine walmart tends to give that to you all right i i do not understand it you know you know i i guess it's not for me to understand but anyway you're here with me listening to this content if this content brings you any type of value yo why don't you hit that like button that's all hit that like button it's free it works it helps out the channel as well as this video. Let's jump right into it. Yo, today we're going to talk about my man Ken V. His channel, Ken V on YouTube. Make sure you guys go and subscribe to him. Good guy, good content. In this particular video right here, he's going to tell you about how he made six figures in his first year. With his background where he came from he never imagined that he would touch six figures now somebody with a crazy ass background that's you know probably coming out of jail coming out of coming out of prison or being a felon and all like that and then they fall into this industry and got success out of this industry as well as making well over six figures that is a good thing and that is a awesome story so with that said if you guys have any stories of a crazy background that when you got into trucking and it changed your life forever hit me up in the comments below so we can reach out to each other and we can get your story out there that's what's up men women well i would say children Maybe 18 year olds, but I don't know if you've been in jail. If you're 18 year old, that's a whole nother video. But anyway, my man Ken V says that he made a little bit over six figures. He never figured out that he he never figured that he would be in a position to make that kind of money. So with that said, my man Ken V, he's gonna come in. He's gonna tell you guys. You know, what you have to do to stay motivated, what he did to stay motivated to get them, to get that six figures. If you guys like contents like this and more, yo, hit that like button. It's free. It helps. It works. All right. Until next time, everybody, I am Lockout Men. And if you guys want to get at me for whatever reason, holler at me. Get at me in the comments, Instagram. Or all my social media, I am on TikTok, by the way. So get at me on that way. Uh, and then get at me that way. Also, subscribe to my man, Ken V. That's Ken V on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you let them know that Lockout Men sent you. Peace, everybody. Ken V, y'all. In this video, I am going to be talking about my first time making six figures and what I had to pay on taxes. But before I even get into this video, I'm going to need you to like this video so I can get into the YouTube algorithm. As you can see, it says non-employee compensation, $109,165.13. So as you can see from the document, last year was my first year making over $100,000. Before that, I hadn't made anywhere close to $30,000. It was probably like twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars is what I was making. So to make that in one year, it changed my whole entire reality. It changed the way I saw money, changed the way that I saw my future. It changed a lot of things for me because before this year, I used to doubt 
how I was going to make a living. And even though this is not where I want to be in my future, I know this is like a stepping stone to get me there to the next to the next step. So at 23 years old, being able to see $100,000 in one year, that was just motivation. That's like, okay, if I can do this at 23 with my background, then I know that I can become a millionaire. And if I become a millionaire, I know I can become a multi-millionaire, but you gotta start somewhere. A lot of people don't realize that you have to start somewhere and it can't be on top. I want to talk about how I filed my taxes and how somebody who is in this trucking industry or is a, um, a contractor or that self-employed, how they can go about filing taxes and just some tips. So first off, I want to recommend to you that if you want to do anything with taxes, you should work with a certified public accountant, a CPA. I work directly with a CPA who understands laws, taxes, and different things to help me file my taxes and to also save money. So working with an accountant enlightened me on different ways to file taxes and how to save money while filing taxes. I filed as a S corporation and not as a independent contractor or as a self-employed business. I was able to save a lot of money. What I was able to do and what I was able to learn was just how business works and different ways that you have to plan and prepare. I also pay taxes monthly. A lot of people wait to the end of the year to pay taxes when they're self-employed or when they're contractors, but you can't do that. You have to pay your taxes monthly or you have to pay your taxes quarterly. I receive some of my profits as dividends, which does not get self-employment tax. That is a huge tax loophole that can save anyone who is on a 1099 or anyone who's an independent contractor a lot of money yearly on taxes. This type shit have you violent. Last minute trips to the islands. Trip, trip, trip when you're sliding.